In the midst of escalating tensions, thoughts now turn to the latest updates from the Israeli military spokesman. Daniel Hagari has just spoken in the last few minutes. Let's listen to what he had to say in response to months of continuous attacks from the regime in Iran against the state of Israel. Right now, the Israel Defense Forces is conducting precise strikes on military targets in Iran. The regime in Iran and its proxies in the region have been relentlessly attacking Israel since October 7th on seven fronts, including direct attacks from Iranian soil. Like every other sovereign country in the world, the State of Israel has the right and the duty to respond. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are fully mobilized. We will do whatever necessary to defend the State of Israel and the people of Israel. That was from the Israeli military spokesman, Daniel Hagari. Let's go back to Rasul Sardar, our correspondent, who is live for us in Tuan. Um, Rasul, can you talk us through whether there's been any updates since we just last spoke? Obviously, this is a moving uh, story, a very significant one, especially now that Israel has confirmed that it is carrying out those strikes on Iran. Indeed, as of now in the capital, we're not hearing any sounds of explosions. However, shortly before, we heard at least three explosions, most of them taking place in the western part of the capital. There are also reports that explosions were heard in the city of Kashan and in the city of Mashhad. These cities have significant nuclear facilities and military facilities as well. But what we understand so far is that there has not been any explosion in the nuclear facilities or oil and gas reserves. Rather, some of the military targets have come under Israeli attack. We do not know the state of the casualties, whether some soldiers have been killed or injured. However, there have been reports of explosions from these three cities. Now, we are in Tarn and we have also heard at least three explosions, but there are some reports that there were three more explosions in Tarn. So, in total, we are talking about six explosions. We are we understand from the Israeli military spokesperson that they have targeted military facilities, not the oil and nuclear facilities. This tells us something because the Iranians were quite clear that their response would be according to the Israeli attack. If Israel attacks military bases, Iran will target Israeli military bases. If Israel attacks oil and gas reserves or nuclear facilities, Iran will respond by hitting Israeli oil and gas reserves and nuclear facilities. Americans have been putting tremendous pressure on Israelis not to target these strategic facilities to avoid a full-scale war across the region. As of now, it seems that the Israeli response to Iran's attack on October 1st is quite measured and well calculated, limited to military targets. Tan itself holds some nuclear facilities, and we haven't heard explosions there. Reports indicate that nuclear facilities are operating normally so far, but we have heard at least three explosions in the capital and three more unconfirmed explosions. It seems Israelis have attacked military targets, but we do not know the scale exactly at this moment. Whether it was a one-hit operation and is over, or if there will be second or third waves, we do not know. In the coming hours, we will have a clearer sense and picture of the situation. In Iran, Iranians are saying that their air defense systems across the country are on the highest alert. They say it's a multi-layer air defense system with protection particularly enhanced around strategic facilities, oil and gas reserves, strategic depots reserved for wartime and nuclear facilities. These have been protected by Russian S-300 and S-400 systems and also the Iranian-made B-373 air defense system which is equivalent to the Russian-made S-300s. On top of that, Iranians are saying that several dozens of aircraft are now scanning Iranian airspace. The Iranian army is at the highest level of readiness. If the scale of the Israeli attacks is quite big and huge, Iranians are saying they will respond with the same magnitude.